Now, this is the ignition coils that I end up getting myself right here. These are eBay, like just probably like the low of the low of the ignition coils because I literally picked the lowest price with free shipping and I got it shipped to me. So I don't know how these things are gonna perform. As you could see, they are no branders. Um, but that being said, uh, with the ignition coils, I wanna explain something. Of course, they're probably gonna be like face like this, but I'm gonna put them like that because it's a natural way for them to, to be basically there. So I wanna show you something, and this is so that you could actually uh, perhaps learn from, and uh, maybe this could be like uh, a video where you could use as a reference one day or where the spark plug wires go. So anyways, guys, this is the order that the spark plug wire is supposed to uh, go on. So you got your ignition coil and the spark plugs. So the very first ignition coil is supposed to be longer because it is leading one, trailing one, leading one, trailing one. And what does that mean? So leading, it means lower spark plug hole, Trailing, it means top one. So this is supposed to be leading to, trailing to. So leading to, that's a lower spark plug. Trailing to is the top spark plug. That's actually what it now, needs to, to be. Now, to make my life easier, I went ahead and actually marked the new ones. That way, if I have to pull one out and replace it, I will know which one I pulled out. They were so hard to pull off. Like... But if you install them, it's so easy. It seems like you gotta force them on there, but you really don't. Alright, so that's kind of on. Without no further ado, pause the video and write in the comments below, what do you think? Is it gonna start or not? I haven't tried it yet, guys. All right, you ready? Okay, let's do it. Okay. Whew. Oh my God! It started, guys. The RPMs are at 2,000. And they're slowly dropping. I don't know if this is too soon to say, but this sounds smooth. Like this sounds like very smooth idle. Steering wheel like on this collab. After doing a couple rounds of uh, trying to shoot some flames, um, it did not overheat. Um, of course, it is right now mainly water inside of the radiator. Uh, I know the, that water is heating up somewhat. I did uh, check uh, the coils. I tried to plug them in further. There's really no room to plug them in further. I could probably use some uh, electric contact grease on them to see if that helps. But uh, no check engine light has came back, as you could see. But I'm gonna quickly run codes and see if any of them came back. It's probably too soon, but I'm gonna go ahead and actually take it out for a spin. Hey guys, I have taken it on a test drive and so far so good. The car is behaving like very nicely. It's very lively. It actually accelerates, I believe, faster than it was before. Um, currently, I'm installing a tune on it uh, with new spark plugs uh, and just a downpipe, uh, not a full exhaust system. 
and we will see what it does zero to 60 uh, or even you know quarter mile and stuff like that so i'm very curious so guys as i was getting before 10.6 zero to 60 nothing has changed this is the performance that i'm getting so guys we are back um the check engine light has not came on the car performed flawlessly the entire time i cannot really ask for more the performance is what it was before I mean, what can you expect? It is an automatic with 129,000 miles. Um, most everybody, they don't check, uh, you know, the zero to 60 and probably who knows, it might not even be correct. But that being said, it does perform like actually like really good. So if I didn't know any better, I would think it had all of its performance. Like it literally puts you back in the seat. Uh, it accelerates somewhat fast. Um, I mean, as fast as I think you could expect from a Mazda X8. There definitely some exciting, some excitement to to drive it. But One thing for sure, guys, I'm really happy just to get this car back and running again. Like performance aside, I mean, it is running. Um, so I guess what's next for it? So next, install two more new spark plugs. Uh, install spark plug wires when they come in. Uh, install a Canon air intake. Um, we do still need to fix the steering wheel angle type of issue or whatever that is. Um, and I do need to replace radiator fluid. Did I say oil change? I know I keep saying all these things, but that's what's next. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself, guys, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.